Hello and welcome to my live Facebook stream. I'm Rob Richards, you're watching me on Rob Richards Fitness. And today's stream is all about breakfast, macronutrients, and basically looking at different varieties and options and uh, maintaining that same macro split across all meals. Proteins, carbs, fats, even calories. So before we start, this is gonna be a shorter video compared to some of the other ones I've done and they typically last 30, 45 minutes, up to an hour. This one, as you can see, I've already got a lot of the food prepped under the table here. So I'm not going to be cooking on camera, but what I will do is later in the week actually uh, break down all these recipes. Uh, they're pretty easy to make, but for those of you who want to see how I make it, which isn't really any different, um, I'll do a little video on each one and post it up on my Facebook uh, by the end of the week. Um, as we go through these, all of these will be on my website broken down as uh, the kind of ingredients, the exact amounts, and also the macronutrient splits for the meals, each of them after. So we've got four different meals here. I'm gonna start talking about the first one. I'm gonna let everyone kind of uh, start watching because it is a live feed. So let's get the views going before uh, I start talking about the first one. And all of these recipes are, I always mention it when I do cooking, but it's in my Ultra Lean book. If you haven't already read it, uh, it <laughs> Like, I mean, I wrote it with Muscle and Fitness. It talks about um, my journey into competition fitness and also how I broke down all of the nutrition really uh, from a 12 week period, breaking down into uh, the third month, that second month, the final month, and then peak week, getting ready for a competition. And a lot of these meals really fit. I mean, they come from this book, all four of them. So I'll post the, uh, the exact breakdown as well on my website. The one thing that really got me uh, thinking or asking more questions really when I first started training, getting into fitness, even competition, was I kind of knew the good foods that I should be eating and the bad foods. I knew I should be eating things like chicken, tuna, fish, uh, complex starchy carbs. At the time I was looking at pasta, obviously brown rice, potatoes, and fats I was getting from back in the day and in the early stages from things like nuts, avocado, and peanut butter because those were the, the good healthy foods that I thought. Staying away from, even back then, processed manufactured foods, and really the, the, this, the reason for this is twofold. One, anything that is manufactured and processed, it's changed its original form, meaning something that might have carbohydrates in or complex carbohydrates, if it's been manufactured, processed, and changed into breakfast cereal, it's not going to have the same effect as if you eat something that is more in its original form. Something like oatmeal, yams, potatoes, brown rice. We'll talk more about that later on. Uh, we've got enough views going. I will answer a couple of questions. In fact, let me, uh, let me jump around and get a couple of questions going. Now, uh, we've got the bright light here. Uh, okay, someone's saying I need a leg day. That's very true. Uh, I actually had one yesterday. Okay, any questions about nutrition? Because that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, specifically food, we're gonna be talking about the macronutrients, protein content, carbohydrates, fats, and really uh, different varieties. Uh, shout out to Dale Turner. We've got a question just up there. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you, buddy, about the uh, doing a training plan there. So yeah, I'll follow up today. Absolutely. All right, we got, uh, we got enough people watching, so let me jump around into the kitchen here. And we'll get started on the first recipe. I've already got all of these pre-made and cooked. I'll hold them up to the camera. I'll tell you exactly what it is, how I made them. And if you want to find out more, I'll include the link after. Check out my website. You can see each step. So this does come from my Ultra Lean book. It starts as um, what I call my baseline diet. And for that, I simply mean after establishing my what I think I need for my protein, carbs, and fats, which typically at the beginning is a 40-40-20 split, uh, about 15 calories per pound of body weight, so you can do the math there, you can change the numbers around. Basically, it comes up to about 270 grams of protein throughout the day, so just under 50 grams, about 46 grams of protein per meal. That's probably six meals a day. Similar amounts for carbohydrates, so my proteins and carbs are pretty much evenly matched, and then fats make up 20%. 20% of my daily calorie intake, which is about uh, 60 something grams, so 10, 11 grams of fat per meal. Now what that tells me is if I have six meals, I should be looking at getting about 46 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. 
except I move my carbohydrates around a little bit. So I have, I group them for breakfast and post-workout as half of my daily carb intake. So that puts my breakfast intake at about, let me just check the, the precise number here. So uh, for breakfast, yeah, so 43 grams of protein, carbohydrates, uh, a little bit more because I'm actually getting 25% of my daily carb intake. And that's really because I do cardio in the morning fasted, I wake up, have my black coffee, take my uh, fat burner supplement core that you can get from True Performance Nutrition, go into the gym, do my cardio and abs routine, and then I'm back to have breakfast. And the reason I get a high percentage of carbohydrates uh, for my breakfast meal is because my blood sugar levels have dipped down, A, from fasting, sleeping throughout the night without eating, and also from being in the gym, doing pretty intense activity. I'm not weight training, but a lot of cardiovascular, some of it hit interval training and then abs. So for me, I feel getting more of the carbohydrates in than throughout the day, except for post-workout. It, it gives me a better, um, brings my, my blood sugar level back up and kind of makes me feel a little bit more with it. So breakfast and post-workout, I have 25% each of my daily carbs and then the rest is split out. We'll do another video where I talk about my, I call them my day meals, basically meal two, three, four, and I've got post-workout and I've got nighttime. So this is all about breakfast. Each of the meals that I'm gonna uh, show you today will have, let's say 44 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbohydrates because that's 25% of my daily carb intake, and 11, 11 and a half grams of fat. So that's about 540 calories, and that's going to be the same for each breakfast. All right, uh, the first one is a real simple one. I don't know if you can see from the angle there. Basically, egg white omelet. I've got some chicken strips on there. So this is uh, 160 grams of egg whites. If you want to do the math, and I'll explain a little bit about eggs. Egg white is pretty much the perfect protein for us. We can get it from, uh, I often get it from a carton like this as long as it's uh, flash pasteurized, basically egg whites, instead of uh, breaking the eggs open. People have said before, why don't I have the yolk? Why don't I cook whole eggs? I do sometimes, but here's the thing. A typical egg, a large white egg, has about six grams of protein. Half of that comes from the yolk. So three grams from the yolk, three grams from the uh, egg white. But that yolk also has about five grams of fat. So if I use eggs exclusively to get my protein, let's say I'm getting 40 grams of protein. Each egg has six grams of protein, therefore I need five, five, six eggs to get that protein. Great, I've got the protein content, but now my fat content, if we look at having the whole eggs, four, five times six, I'm already up to 24 grams of fat, and I'm only aiming for 11. So that's why I cut the yolks out on this. I'd rather get my fat from somewhere else. And that's actually from uh, flaxseed oil. So it's a cold pressed, uh, unrefined, high in omega-3. You can use other things like uh, Udo's oil. It's a great, really good source of uh, healthy fats too. But yeah, 160 grams of egg whites. Typically I will measure this out if I'm just getting back into that diet kind of stage. I'll crack the eggs. I know that one large egg has about 33 grams of egg whites. So therefore, uh, three egg whites is about 100, four, five. So that's five egg whites in here. Next time I make it, I don't need to weigh anything out. I, I know from either eyeballing the portion or just knowing from how many uh, eggs I need to crack open. This is a five egg white omelet. And then I've got 65 grams of uh, usually turkey, but I use chicken today. The reason I add extra on is because that... Uh, chicken there gives me about 15 grams of protein. If I got that just from egg whites, that's another another four or five egg whites that I've got to do. So I don't really want to have a giant egg white omelet that uses up nine egg whites. I'd rather kind of mix my proteins, optimize my proteins, get some animal protein in there as well with that um, egg white. So that's really the protein taken care of. One thing I'm big on is also looking at the numbers across the board. And by that, I mean... Okay, I've got my protein now taken care of, but if I start to add in carbs, and I know I need 65 grams of carbs, oatmeal is a really good source of that, let's add some oatmeal. If I get 65 grams of carbs from a serving of oatmeal, there's an amount of protein and fats in there too. Now they're not the complete uh, full spectrum proteins like you get from animal protein, but they still count towards protein, they still add calories. So I wanna make sure that each ingredient I'm adding in, eggs, 
chicken or turkey, oatmeal. I want to make sure at the end that my protein, carbs and fats for the whole meal is pretty much on point. And the way I've done that is kind of calculate the, the amount specifically. Uh, I've got a meal planner for that. You can find it on my website, Robert Shop, And that's really, it's similar to a lot of other apps, but it allows you to set particular meal times and then um, determine the amount of calories, protein, carbs and fats. And whatever meal you add, it will tell you whether it's too much or not enough. So yeah, I add oatmeal to this one. This is uh, 60 grams of oats, and I, I weigh these dry. So it's about, uh, it's about a scoop and a half, you know, the protein scoop of dry oats. And the reason I weigh all of my foods dry is if I cook them first and then weigh them out, you gotta take into account things like extra water, that's gonna add to the weight and volume, and also how long you might cook something. So at least by always weighing the foods dry, uncooked, you're gonna have a set uh, factor, fixed variable, that you know is always going to be the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so 60 grams of oats, and I'm going to add to this a uh, little bit of extra fiber, extra sugar. Got 70 grams of raspberries here, and five grams of flaxseed oil. So to complete my first meal, we got my five egg white omelet. I got 65 grams of cooked um, turkey breast. I use chickens. It's very similar. And again, I'd weigh that meat raw before cooking it. So I basically put it on a scale, find that 65 grams, whatever amount that is, I would then cook and that goes on. And from the following days onwards, if I repeat that meal, I have a pretty good idea whether it's the length of two or three fingers or my thumb tucked under, I kind of have a, a visual on how much I need. So I'll put the raspberries in there. Five grams of flaxseed oil, basically a capful. That's gonna top me up with my extra healthy fats. Put this on the oatmeal, put it on the egg whites, add a little bit of stevia oil, some cinnamon in there, and that's it, it's our first meal. My typical breakfast, pretty standard for me. Uh, this is 543 calories, 43 grams of protein, 66 grams of carbs, and just under 12 grams of fat. <clears throat> it's got the egg white omelet, some chicken, oatmeal, raspberries, and flaxseed oil in there. I love this, like I literally crave it. I'm finishing my ab routine at the gym and uh, I can't wait to get back. And this is probably the only meal that I won't prepare ahead of time. I make this fresh every morning. It takes literally eight or 10 minutes. But then the remaining meals I'll have cooked the night before. Therefore, I've already got them set away in the fridge, ready to eat when I need to. So meal one, uh, basically turkey or chicken omelet with oatmeal. Okay, let's move that to the side. Moving on, this is, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna be drinking more water. Okay, so I'm gonna show a variety now for a different meal. Again, these have exactly the same amount of macros, protein, carbs, and fats. So this one, uh, protein pancakes. This is a favorite of mine, and typically I might have these on the weekend, or after maybe, um, if I do a really high intense interval type of cardio and just feel like I want a treat, something that it still fits within my numbers, but let's just say it's not as optimal, as healthy or ideal for us as something like that first meal. The reason is what I mentioned earlier about not processed, but it's obviously modified. I'll show you. This, believe it or not, has exactly the same amount of protein, carbs, and fats, and calories, 543, as our first one. And just look at the size of these pancakes. Really simple how I made them. Uh, this is 100 grams of egg whites, so for this one, I definitely used this, my egg whites in a carton. So 100 grams of egg whites, I used 25 grams of uh, vanilla protein, added into that, this is all in a blender, 40 grams of oats, 20 grams of cottage cheese. <coughs> Let me get some water, hold on. <coughs> One of the perks of filming live, eh? 20 grams of cottage cheese, that actually um, adds to the fluffiness of the pancake. So you see the, the thickness of these. And 
nice and soft and spongy, just how pancakes should be. So all of that goes into a blender. <coughs> and then I also uh, chopped up a banana. So it's, it's one full banana sliced in there. You can see the bananas just inside and I pressed that down into the uh, pancake batter as it was cooking. And then to finish that off is um, 15 grams of almond butter. So it's really not much. You can see the amount there. Basically it's a, it's a small teaspoon. So we can finish this one off. Dollop on there. You can start to see now how optimally sourcing my fats and proteins from things like animal meat, turkey, egg whites, compared to protein powder mixed into basically a homemade batter. And then my fats are coming from peanut butter or almond butter instead of a cold press organic oil like flax oil. It's still good nutrition, but you know, if you're weeks away or you're really honing in on a competition or a photo shoot, it's gonna make a slight difference in terms of the type of food, how it's cooked, how it's prepared, and also how your body is gonna be able to digest and break it down. So these kind of meals are fine. I mean, it's literally good for you, they're healthy. You've seen the ingredients that goes in. But if we're talking about really being kind of on point with your diet, I'd give that first one an A rating, an A plus rating. This one is more of a, a B rating. You know, it's still good, it's still healthy. I might have it on the weekend or every other weekend, but that one, even though they're balanced completely with macros and the proteins and calories, that one's gonna be a better fit if you're looking to really just stay on top of your diet. I'm gonna finish this one off with not syrup, and really I don't use any of these sugar-free syrups. Uh, it's just more marketing than health benefit. You're still taking on um, chemicals and something that's processed. So instead, let's go for raw natural honey. 15 grams here, so it's about just over a teaspoon. Keep it on like that. Drizzle it over the pancakes. And do with some of that honey from my throat. Beautiful. Okay, meal number two. Matches gram for gram, literally. This is how it ends up. So with this, this is uh, 43 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbs, just under 12 grams of fat, and exactly the same amount of calories as our omelet and oatmeal. So two varieties right there. You guys liking it so far? You wanna keep seeing some more? Good, because uh, in the words of uh, the Blue Peter, a show that I used to watch back in England when I was this tall, Here's one I made earlier. Not oatmeal, <coughs> it's quinoa. This one is a, a bit of an oddity, it kind of goes out there a little bit far, but when I was playing around with different recipes, uh, this one actually came up as a really great tasting one. What this is, uh, quinoa, so if you're unfamiliar with that, it's, it's literally a substitute for uh, brown rice. Quinoa, it's a type of grass seed, it's actually a complete protein. It contains all of the essential amino acids. When you cook it in water, like brown rice, comes up kind of fluffy like that. You can see I've added some raisins in there too. <coughs> so this 80 grams of quinoa, and I would weigh that out uh, dry, uncooked. So if it comes up to half a, a coffee mug, that's the amount that I'll typically always use. 80 grams, you cook it in a pan just like you would oatmeal porridge oats, brown rice, until it comes nice and fluffy. Don't add too much water in, add about two to three times as much volume as you have the actual quinoa. And like I said, I'll post all of this on my website and give you guys a full breakdown. Okay, flaxseed oil, seven grams, so that's just more, about a teaspoon there. So this is where our healthy fats come in. So even though it contains, I mean this 80 grams of quinoa contains 11 grams of protein, we're still falling short of about 30, 31 grams of protein. And the easiest way to get that is powder. This is a vanilla whey protein powder again. This is 
40 grams of uh, protein, or a serving size, giving us uh, 30 more grams of protein. Gonna mix that in with the quinoa. Sometimes you might need to add a little bit more water. Let's do that right now. This is really good, hot or cold, a little bit of uh, cinnamon, put some uh, allspice or nutmeg in. If you're anything like me and you can't get enough of stevia, add some of that in. Sometimes I might make this the night before, especially if I'm um, not heading home after the gym. And that's another great thing about these recipes. Something like your egg white and turkey omelette with your oatmeal. Typically, you want to sit down, eat that after having made it. If you're kind of leaving the gym after doing cardio or just getting up early and heading to work maybe, this is not typically a food that um, you might want to sit there and eat on the train or as you head to work or leaving the gym. But something like this, uh, it's compact, it's easy to eat. When I used to work at a gym back when I was 17, 18 and didn't really have any time to, to go outside and eat is when I was working for uh, a certain somebody at a certain quite well-known studio in London. I wasn't allowed time to go and eat so I had to literally make things that I could quickly eat. And uh, this is actually one of them. And if you leave it in the fridge and kind of get that consistency just right, which I think I've got it now, it's like, it's kind of like a dessert. Vanilla, cinnamony, if that's a word, cinnamony with uh, some raisins in. So I do want some sugars in with my breakfast. This might not look too appetizing, but I guarantee if you make it, it does taste great. Add a little bit of uh, coconut in there maybe. Change your protein powder, a bunch of different flavors. Vanilla definitely, use some chocolate in there, that will completely change it. And with fats as well, you've seen me use flaxseed oil a couple of times now. Yes, you can use almond butter, peanut butter, but if you look at the amount of fats or the calorie amount per serving, you're gonna basically have half a teaspoon of almond butter or peanut butter to get the same amount of fats that you would with a teaspoon of this. Better quality, better for us, much higher in those omega-3, the essential fatty acids, and it kind of helps a little bit with that consistency and thickness of the quinoa. But I'm just giving you some options. Feel free to mix it up, play around, and please share them with me. All right, meal number three. Let's put that aside. Put them all over here. And we'll move on to the fourth and final uh, breakfast recipe. Turn the page. This is one we pretty much make now. So I talked about efficiency. Timing, something that you can be like, hey Rob, uh, I'm, li I'm literally waking up, heading out the house, and I want something quick and easy. I haven't got time, or I don't like cooking. What can I do with a shake? Well, the easiest option is put some protein in there. For carbs, people put, obviously, uh, oatmeal or some other types of grains in there. I've even, even used brown rice, um, cooked yam, which sounds really strange and weird, but the taste, if you have a chocolate, some cinnamon in there again, it kind of helps blend all the flavor and you get that kind of sweet potato yam. Uh, it's actually really good. Not one of my favorites, but if you're running low on a, if you run out of oatmeal and you want your carbs in there, which I've done more than once, I'm opening up the fridge, I see that I've got a yam potato, sweet potato that I've cooked before, some brown rice, put it in a blender, blend, uh, blend everything up and you really can't taste too much of the difference. All right, so check this one out, recipe four. Uh, we have a blender here, so some water and ice. Bring the ingredients up here. This is something, uh, I'll do a varied form actually, but I typically have a shake most days only because when I'm up early. At the moment, I might be uh, doing weight training in the morning, so I want to get my nutrition in, but not have a heavy meal sat digesting in my gut. So a shake or a smoothie is a great way to do that, as long as we're maximizing and optimizing quality protein, good complex, starchy carbs and some healthy fats. So here we go with uh, breakfast option number four. We're gonna start with uh, 30 grams of whey protein. Again, I'm using vanilla, just easy doing all uh, these recipes with vanilla. It's 30 grams in there. I'm gonna add some yogurt in there as well. Uh, a, it's, uh, it's a different type of protein, so I'm blending my proteins. It's also got 10 grams of protein in there. I'm gonna add 60 grams. So this is uh, my Greek yogurt. Basically, this one, I don't know if you can see that. It's 
60 grams, and I've also got uh, peanut butter with this one, 10 grams, so that's the uh, peanut butter in there, just so I can put them both in one cup. 60 grams of uh, Greek yogurt, 10 grams of peanut butter. But we're not done, we're also gonna add, uh, for our carbs, I'm gonna use some gluten-free oats. I mentioned oats a couple of times, but this is really one of my go-to brands. Bob Mills or any other good brand that has gluten-free. I've talked a lot about gluten-free on recipes before. If you want to find out more about that, uh, simplest thing is Google it or go to my website, Robert's Just Fitness, and just go to the search bar and type that in. I do have an article on. So I'm going to use 50 grams of uh, gluten-free oats. I'm also going to add some fiber in, which is something I haven't really touched upon in, in today's video. Fiber, it's the insoluble type, with the soluble and insoluble type. But it's really the a type of um, starchy carbohydrate that our body, we need it as roughage. It helps um, with digestion, absorption, and uh, regularity, you know what I mean? So we want to be getting about 30 grams of uh, fiber throughout the day. And the best way to do that is green, leafy, raw veg got a handful of kale here. I'm just gonna break that apart, put that into the blender. Half a handful of spinach, I mean, you can go crazy on this. You can add two or three different varieties in there. Celery, cucumber actually goes well. For um, fruits, I've got some low glycemic here. I've got some uh, raspberries and blueberries go together really well. It's about 85 grams each. So you can get a lot of fruit and fiber in there as well. I've actually got um, kiwi. So I've chopped up some kiwi. Again, handful of berries, that's about 80 grams of berries here. And that's everything kin. This will give us 42 grams of protein, you already know the drill by now. 65 grams of carbs, 11 and a half grams of fat, it's about 543 calories, exactly the same as those meals behind me. So let's finish this one off. Hopefully I've got enough of the right ingredients in there. Let's find out. Glass uh, beaker here. Oh, just a tiny bit. I'll drink that part later. There we have it, guys. Four really pretty different recipes, but one thing remains the same throughout. Protein, carbs, and fats and calories are the same throughout. I'm going to post this on my website, Rob Richards Fitness, so check that out in the next day or two. I'll put um, a full breakdown of the ingredients, give you a, kip, a couple of varieties and substitutions as well. So if you don't want to use a certain ingredient, I'll have a look at uh, different options. And I realize a lot of you, especially um, outside of either England or America, you may have trouble finding certain foods or ingredients or at times of year at least. So I'll, I'll be wary of that and have a look at some different options for you there. But once again, it's a... Uh, let me bring that tray over and just summarize what we've got here. Again, all of these are in that book, Ultra Lean. But if you want to just get a sample, uh, I'm actually giving away a chapter for free. That will be on this page in the next day or two. So, Robert's Fitness and I'll just search breakfast options and you'll find the page. Uh, I'll send you a, the first chapter of that book. You'll see all the recipes and breakdown on here. And typically I'll have one meal like this, probably the, uh, the egg whites, chicken or turkey, and the oatmeal Monday through to Friday. And then the weekend, uh, if I'm not super close to maybe wanting to do a competition or photo shoot, which at the moment I'm just, just living life, just maintaining, just being happy, having good workouts, not trying to get bigger, not really trying to get more cut now, just enjoying healthy eating, being fit, being active, and, and pretty much working out on a daily basis. But that will start to change. So keep an eye, uh, especially here on my Facebook, as to uh, what's coming up later in the year. Saturday and Sunday, I might mix it up. Uh, protein pancakes definitely is gonna be thrown in there. And also the quinoa. Uh, I love that one, especially if I have uh, uh, real pure, like organic vanilla protein in there. It tastes amazing, especially a little bit cold. And this shake, 
you've seen there's a ton of variety, different options that you can mix up. As with all of these recipes, variety is the spice of life, they say. Um, but you've got to be aware of those numbers too. So all of these fit, all of these are kind of within that A or B rating. Some are a little bit more processed or modified or changed than others, but definitely if you're looking for uh, optimizing your protein intake and getting a good healthy amount of carbohydrates and fats in the morning, this is a great place to start. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I know a lot of you have been posting questions, haven't got my laptop with me now, uh, so it's gonna be difficult to stand there and scroll through the phone. Uh, but on Friday, I'm going to do uh, much more of a QA. and a be back in the studio, have my laptop there, and I'll literally just sit and run through question after question and uh, give a short, direct answer. So we'll do about 30 minutes or so of a live Q&A on Friday, 11 a.m. I'll, uh, I'll post all of these on my Facebook too, and I'll also shoot little videos uh, throughout the rest of the week as I make these again, kind of give a little bit more of an insight into uh, the types of fats or coconut oil, particularly that I use to cook the egg white. So I'll break all of that down. You'll see these videos posted on my Facebook page. If you haven't already, if you're watching this on a different platform, facebook.com, Rob Riches Fitness, head over there, like my page, check out the video tab, and I've got all, all of my workouts on there, uh, recipes, and all of these live streams that I've been doing for the last six weeks. So uh, happy, was it Wednesday today? Happy Wednesday, everyone. I don't even know what day it is. Uh, hope you guys are having a great week so far. Stay tuned for more of these live streams and pretty much daily uh, little workout tips or ideas that I'll be posting on my Facebook. So uh, happy breakfasting. That's another made up word. I'll see you back Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here in California. All right, guys. Take care.